It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. Hi. 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 This is the very random start to a get ready with me. You wouldn't think that this was the start to a get ready with me, but it is. <laughs> yeah. So, this is the very beginning of a get ready with me, but this is going to be like a glam night out to get ready with me, because I'm going to like... A family party thing tonight and I wanted to do a get ready with me but this is going to be like a bit of a different one so instead of just doing like my makeup and hair you're gonna like fully get ready with us so like makeup hair waxing shaving it's stuff you do before you go to a party don't lie and say you don't because you do you do huns so I thought I'd do a full-on get ready with me and would experience it together like you're my best friend like, I'm getting ready with my best mate because I'm not getting ready with anyone, so I thought I'd get ready with all you. Yeah. So, my lovely people, I did a story time about two months ago. Was it that long ago? I think it was. About the first time that I ever tried to wax down there, and it was a story time about how I was going to Florida and I wanted to prepare. And I was about 16 and I tried it and I had a bad experience. And some of you people commented on that video telling me I must have done it wrong and you had techniques. So I'm going to go in for round two. I bought some more wax strips. I'm going to try again. I'm going to a party tonight. So I thought it's a perfect opportunity to try and get down there presentable. Not like anybody's going to see it, but I always feel a bit more glam prepared, you know. I'm going to brush my teeth and wash my face. And I'm getting really bad dry skin around my nose at the minute. So I feel like I need to exfoliate my face. It looks like this. I've used this for quite a while and I like it. My twisty thing. You need to brush your tongue, huh? And usually I want to like in the mornings because it's cold wake me up and it does refresh you. But I'm going to try it because it's the only one I've currently got with like an exfoliating aspect to try and get rid of the skin around there because I don't want my makeup to go funny. Do you know? And then I'm gonna try the waxing. Oh. Uh. I'm only washing my face, but this honestly makes us feel so clean and fresh and nice and look like Rudolph. So queen. About 12 with this tatty teddy pyjama top on, but like, I don't have sexy pyjamas. Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going in with round two with the bikini wax. The story time I done, everyone was like, it's not that bad. Like, it's really fine. Try it again. I'm going to try it again. And if it's bad, I'm not going to be happy because... <laughs> I'm literally going to try on the top bit so that it's not as intense. I cry even when I get my eyebrows waxed. Like, it's too much. I don't like it. Oh. Okay. I'm always like one of them people who'd rather just peel it off slowly, but I know that that doesn't work. And I've just got to rip it. And I feel like I can't rip it. and it didn't do nothing. I'm doing it right. I also said if my last video got 5,000 thumbs up that I would like go and get it like professionally done but it didn't so I don't have to but I'll, I'll make the same video. If this gets 5,000 thumbs up I'm, I'm still game because I don't know I just don't. It's not working. It's blotching and it's really stinging. Oh it's stinging. Oh no. It's not worth it. Sean will have to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work again. I've got two patches now at the top, which I'm not very happy about, but I've tried it twice now and it just doesn't work for me. So it's a no to the waxing. I woke up like this. 
I woke up like this, flawless. Right, and this is like a glam get ready with me. Oh, my nose is so dry. Like, can you see that skin? I'm gonna put some oil on it. This is the Shimmer Squad Australia Body Oil. I feel like an oil should hydrate your skin, so I hope it doesn't sting. No, it's not stinging, that's good. Cause like, I don't want my, oh, is it stinging? I think oils are literally so nice on your face. My dressing table is absolutely disgusting. Like, look at how messy it is. I'm sorry if you've got OCD or anything, because I know that's going to be really hard to look at. But I can't keep it tidy. I just, I can't keep my room tidy. I definitely can't keep my dresser tidy. Anyway, I'm going to use this Revolution Pro Prime Aqua Base Primer. I actually did a full face on Revolution um, last week. It was really lovely. So if you haven't seen it, I'll link that below because it's really good. <laughs> no, but I honestly love Revolution makeup. So I really did enjoy doing that video. So I've got that primer on, but I am going to put my other primers on as well. I'm going to use my Professional Primer. I've got really bad pores at the minute. And plus, I feel like this primer will be good for around my nose where the dry skin is. Oh, it's stinging a bit with that primer though, you know. It's like stinging a lot. Ugh. I'm going to use this as the, as the illuminating primer. This is the Ole Complete Care Multi Radiant Daily Illuminating. I don't know where I got this to be honest. I was probably handed it by someone. Um, but I really, really like it. Or maybe I got it for Christmas or something. I'm not really sure, but I really like it. It's nice and illuminating i've got these actually i'm probably gonna wear these ones this is the g w a girls with attitude one but like they look so pretty they're like nice and fluffy and i love a fluffy eyelash so i've drawn my eyebrows on and i've kind of like shaped them out a bit with the nars concealer this is the um soft matte complete concealer and this is in creme brulee light 2.5 i really like this concealer for like sort of like my um eyelids and like shaping my eyebrows and that out but i don't use it as a concealer under my eyes and that because it is a bit um too dark for me i'm gonna use my mario Pradeshi rose water spray and spray that over my little sponge and um, just to blend this out to prep it for my eyeshadow i don't know what type of eyeshadow look i want to go for tonight i feel like i want to go for like a goldy tone um because i always wear orange and reds i always reach for like orange and reddy color so i'm feeling tonight to try and be a bit more like neutral maybe gold tones um yeah, so I'm going to have a look and see what eyeshadow palette I fancy wearing tonight. So I've decided to use a mix of my Urban Decay Smoky palette and then the Max Factor Burgundy Times 9 palette. Um, I've had these palettes for ages but I very rarely use them. But I am wanting to go for like a goldy smoking look. Smoking, smoking, smoking. Like a goldy smoky look tonight. So I'm just going to play around with these and see what I can get. I'm going to use um, number 13 on the Naked palette to do, to be the base for my, just to set the concealer in place. Yeah, so I'm going to my mum's boyfriend's family um they're basically having like a little party tonight for his nana and granddad's 50th anniversary which is so cute um so me and the family are going there and i want to look quite glam because you know the colors out of the burgundy palette some of the like brownie tones up much more so this is like a nice soft brown color which i'm using just in the crease and stuff i'm trying not to bring it down onto my actual eyelid because i want to keep that um a different color it's got some nice colors in it as well yeah this revolution one <laughs> seems to have the colors that i want I'm going to try some of the like dark brownie shades of this Revolution palette. This was also on my full face of um, Revolution makeup video. But I really do like the palette. So I'm going to try with one of the dark brown shades. So funny that at one point in my life I didn't wear eyeshadow. Like I never ever wore eyeshadow. I just didn't like it. But now I couldn't go out without eyeshadow on. 
I just feel like I don't look glam without it. I'm gonna also put some of that shade in the inner bit as well because I want to do like a middle glow bit. I've seen lots of people do this and I really like it. So I did it on the Revolution video as well and I quite like the look it gives us. So I'm gonna try it again for this one. But you'll know I love this product and I use it all the time. And this is the Mask Sydney London. And it's this little, I'm not really sure what it is. I use it as kind of a eyeshadow come highlight for my brow bone and inner corner. Absolutely love it. It's so pigmented. But like I said, everything will be linked below. Uh, imagine if I left it like that. I don't even know. I'm just playing around, to be honest, and seeing what looks pretty. And yeah, isn't that what makeup's for? I think it is. Sorry, Sean rang us and I got a bit carried away chatting to him about something. But um, yeah, so I'm just doing my foundation at the minute. I've did my eyelashes, did my eyeliner. As you can see, I'm quite happy with the way it looks at the minute. But I'm just putting on my foundation, which is the Collection Last and Perfecting Foundation. I quite like this foundation. I think it's a good shade. All my other ones are a bit too light for us at the minute. So hence I'm using this one a little bit more right now. Okay, so since this is like a full glam look, I am going to put like another layer of like foundation-y type stuff on. And I'm going to use the Revolution um, foundation stick things. And this is an FF11 and FF1, but I'm going to use these just to contour my face. Just because this is like more of a glam look, I do wear a bit more Lego. Um... I really like this one because it's light so it brightens up the places that I want it to brighten. I honestly love how creamy these sticks are, they're just so so creamy and I love it. Techniques, buffing brush just to blend the contour out. So once I've contoured and blended that all out, I'm then going to move on to likes of my bronzer and my highlight and things like that. Uh, I'm using my go-to bronzer which is the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. Absolutely love this stuff. Angled brush. This is just the Real Techniques one by Sam and Nick. It's the sculpting brush. And what I like to do is dip it in the bronzer and sculpt. marble one here which is a bit bigger and I'm just gonna like blend it a bit more so it's not like as harsh highlighter where is it this is my absolute favorite highlighter this is the cover fx highlighter and I use this shade I never know how to pronounce this is it like self to seal or something I'm not really sure but that's what shade I'm using I love this song, I love Sia. Sunshine. Moonstone highlighter on as well. Reporting live from the tallest building in Tokyo. Lit. One, I think, but I might lighten it up with one of my lip glosses. This is the Sam Mosser Luxurious Liquid Lips. It's like a nice brown colour. I do like a brown. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit though with one of my um, lip glosses. This is the Revolution Lip Gloss. I honestly don't know what hasn't got a shade it's just like a nudie colour but I really love Revolution lip glosses and this should lighten it up a bit as well. See how it's like kind of lightened it up but as well it's made it like glossy because I really love gloss lips. Can you see? That's what I was aiming for. Now I need to sort out my hair. My hair is an absolute minger at the minute. Yeah, I'm gonna straighten it. Hi, so I've straightened my hair, so I look a little bit more, my hair's a little bit more straight. Okay, dummy. Um, so yeah, I did that. 
I'm just gonna leave it straight because I'm running late as always and I haven't got time to do anything fancy with it. So that's that. I'm bet one of these people though that would rather spend time on my makeup and have my makeup looking nice rather than like my hair. I'd like, I'm fine with leaving my hair down straight. Oh, look at that, I've got makeup up there. Disgusting. So I'm just gonna use this Lynx Black deodorant. I literally um, use men's deodorant because I find them um, they last longer. I'm gonna put some under my boobs because you know <laughs> I'm that outfit and I'll be back. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> At like pull your bum in, pull your waist in, and they pull like your thigh bit in. Yeah, love these knickers. You should get some. I'm eventually ready. Change of scenery. I am eventually ready. And I'm going to talk you through my outfit for my little get ready with me. So, <laughs> this um, so this is my finished makeup. Bit rushed because I was running late. Then I've got these two gold necklaces on from Boohoo. I really like them. And this kind of crop top with the lettuce frill type thing. Yeah, this is a crop top and I really like this. And this is from Boohoo. Then I just have my baggy pants on because I literally wear them all the time. I don't wear anything else but these bloody baggy pants and then I've got these shoes on there's nobody in to like help us shoot the end so I'm a bit like oh then I've got this cute little bag it's just got like two layers and it's actually it's got three layers three layers and I really like it and yeah and then I've got these pointy shoes and that's that's my that's my get ready with me. Um, sorry, it's not the most professional, but is anything I do professional? Definitely not. Yeah, this is my kind of start to begin and get ready with me. I really hope that you enjoy it. It's a glam one because I'm feeling glam. I'm going for glam. So yeah, if you like this get ready with me, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It means a lot. And that's the end of it. I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye.